The coming leadership in China will face a host of major economic and political challenges. But one specific issue, uh, particularly on the political side, has to do with the official verdict on the Tiananmen Square massacres. People like to, like to say incident situation. It was a massacre. And we're talking, of course, June 1989 when the PLA uh, killed uh, at least hundreds uh, of uh, students and other citizens in Beijing. This is a touchy subject for the party. They've always called these students and others hooligans. Uh, they've even refused to let the mothers of uh, young people who were killed uh, know the exact numbers that were killed and, and see any recognition of this. It's obviously uh, those who were directly involved wouldn't touch the verdict. They kept it as is. Some hoped that Hu Jintao, the current leader, might deal with this issue because he wasn't directly involved. Uh, that has not happened. So it will be interesting to see in the next uh, 10 years, and that's what we're talking about probably for the new leadership, or at least the top of it, whether they grapple with the subject. It's important because that to me will be a very concrete indication that they're getting serious about political reform, which they're going to have to do at some point. Uh, if they acknowledge uh, at least that the demonstrators, uh, the peaceful demonstrators, were patriots and well-meaning, they could say they're misguided or whatever they want to say, uh, that will heal a lot of wounds, but more importantly, it will send a signal that maybe they're going to get serious about loosening up that terrible repressive system.